In this video, you'll learn the difference between sound power, intensity, and pressure levels. But if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kyle. If you would like to learn audio production online, subscribe to Audio University. It's very common to confuse sound power, intensity, and pressure level. Recently, I was introduced to an analogy that I find very helpful for understanding the difference between these various levels. Imagine a balloon covered in honey. The expanding balloon is similar to a sound wave as it expands away from its sound source. As the balloon grows larger, the total amount of honey covering the balloon stays exactly the same. This relates to sound power level, because the sound source creates a certain amount of energy, and no matter how far the sound wave expands, the power created at the source remains the same. If the surface area of the balloon becomes larger, but the total amount of honey coating it stays the same, then the amount of honey per square inch will be decreased as the balloon grows larger. This relates to sound intensity, because sound intensity describes the amount of energy per area of space. As a sound radiates away from its source, it creates a sphere of acoustical energy. Therefore, the surface area of that sphere grows the further the sound travels from its source. The reduction of a sound's intensity over distance is explained by the inverse square law. I made a video on the inverse square law that you can watch right here. As the honey is spread thinner and thinner across the expanding surface area of the balloon, the thickness of the honey at any given point decreases. The thickness of the honey relates to sound pressure level. Our ears and microphones don't measure a sound's intensity or the amount of energy flowing through a large surface area. They instead measure the amount of pressure or force at any given point. In audio production, sound pressure level is therefore much more relevant than sound intensity level. To recap, sound power level is the total amount of acoustical energy created by the sound source. It's independent of the listening distance. Sound intensity level is the amount of acoustical energy per unit area. It decreases in proportion to the inverse square of the listening distance. And sound pressure level is the amount of force per unit area. And it decreases in proportion to the inverse of the listening distance. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, hit the like button, consider subscribing to Audio University, and check out the website at audiouniversityonline.com. Thanks for watching.